Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Golden Jaylene. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be. I'm grabbing my box. <laughs> my boxy charm unboxing. So this video is going to be the same way as my last boxy charm unboxing. My first boxy charm unboxing. Wow, how many times can I say that? <laughs> uh, the first time I just opened it and like you know talked about the products. I didn't try them on or anything. But the second time. I actually tried the products on before I filmed the video. I pretty much just reviewed the products in my last unboxing. So I'm going to do this video the same way. Okay, so my hair actually did look very presentable, but <laughs> I just came back from my shift and I have to tie my hair because I work in fast food. And uh, yeah, I have to tie my hair in a ponytail, so there's like, you know, that bend in my hair. Anyway, if you're wondering what's on my nails, this is Kale Polish uh, Ocean Drive. I think this is a gorgeous nail polish by the way. Every single product that's in this uh, BoxyCharm, it is on my face right now. And I do have some opinions. So, let's get started. The first thing I put on was this Dr. Brandt Pose, Pose? Pores No More Luminizing Primer. So this cost $38. Wow, that's a pricey primer. And this is one fluid ounce, which is the same amount as a foundation. And honestly, a little goes a long way. It has a slight peachy, I want to say peachy, yeah, like a slight peachy color to it. I mean, it is a luminizing primer, but honestly, there, I don't really see any luminizing on it. I mean, honestly, it kind of looks matte once you put it on the face, so I don't know why it's called a luminizer primer. But on the back it says, apply on clean, moisturized skin. Use alone for a natural bounce of light on the skin or under makeup to prep your skin for a flawless application AM and PM. I have to disagree. This, I mean, it's on my hand, and I don't think you can tell where it is. It's right here. And when I put this on initially, this honestly looked matte on my skin. This does not look luminizing at all. I mean, the glow you see on my skin is not from this primer. So, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad primer because my makeup did last all day. I mean, my my bronzer, my blush, and my highlight is still on my face. But I wouldn't say that this is luminizing in any way. But I do like it. And this already covers the entire price of the box. I only pay... Um, well, it's $21 a month, but I pay every three months, so it's about 19 and some change a month. So, yeah, this is a very huge hit for me. Alright, the next product that I put on my face, well, my brows, is the IT Cosmetics Brow Powder. Now, this costs $24, wow, which is also more than the box. And on here, it says a lot of stuff that you don't need to know. <laughs> It says that it has biotin, some other stuff that I can't pronounce, and nettle, green tea, antioxidants, grapeseed, and vitamins A, B, 5, C, and E. And that it's going to make your brows look natural. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And the directions say it's a universal... Oh, universal. This is universal taupe, but I, I have to say that this is pretty dark for someone who has blonde hair. I mean, my personal preference is auburn, even though my hair isn't red year-round. I just prefer auburn even if my hair is brown. Personally, for me, this is a little too dark, but I mean, it, it works perfectly fine. It looks good. So I just use a light hand and I blunt it out with the spoolie. But it says, the universal transforming shade adjusts to your brow color. No, I don't believe that. How is that going to adjust to your hairs? Like, that's a dark brown. I do have to say that this packaging is very nice. It feels very expensive. It's very, um, sleek and I do like it and it does come with the spoolie and I actually like the spoolie it's not a bad spoolie apply softer strokes for lighter colors like blonde and silver press harder for darker hair including brown and black to finish lightly brush through brows with the spoolie brush for a natural polished look see okay no I have to disagree with this I don't think a blonde person would get away with this but you know what if you are blonde and you use this good for you. <laughs> so I do like that. I do think that's a hit too. Alright, so the next thing I use is the Pure Cosmetics Bronze and Brighten Cheek Palette. 
this, oh, I almost broke it. <laughs> this is $34, and I do have to say that this is very lovely. Um, this comes with a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer, but I'm going to be honest. I don't like this bronzer as a bronzer. I would honestly wear this as a highlighter, and yet it does look like that would never like look like a highlighter on my skin. I can actually get away with darker highlights on my skin. I just apply it with a light hand, and you can see that it's a highlighter. It doesn't look like weird on my skin. I have to say the same thing for the blush. The blush honestly doesn't even show up like a blush on me. I thought it was going to show up like very pink on my skin. As you can see from like the swatches, it's it's a very pink blush, but it's also just very sheeny, is that a word, and shimmery. When I put this on, it looked like I was just wearing highlighter. It did not look like I was wearing blush. I think I'm just going to use this entire thing as a highlighting palette. And the highlighter is beautiful. I mean, it's very blinding. It's still on my face. I ended up using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Flushed on top of this bronzer and this blush. But I do love it. I think it's great quality. When you put your finger in the product, it feels very, very soft. It almost feels like cream, but it's a powder. So I do love this. This is an amazing product. All right, so the next thing is the Crown. I'm pretty sure this is Crown Brushes. Yes, Crown Glam Metals Palettes. And this is in... No, this is $25. I have mixed feelings with this palette. So I think the packaging is really cute. This is very small, sleek packaging. The colors in here, they don't look too exciting in the palette. The only color that I'm very drawn to is this middle shade called Rebel. And that's because I just love gold. So <laughs> the other colors I just wasn't really drawn to. My favorite colors to wear on my eyes are gold, warm tones, and blue eyeshadows. Like, not cool tone specifically, just blue. And there is a copper in here, there is a gold, and there are two blues, but I mean, to be honest, when I look into this palette, it does not inspire me at all. But I didn't let that stop me, I didn't let that, you know, get in the way of my opinion, because I hadn't even tried it yet. I think the mirror is really cute, it's like in the shape of a guitar. The problems I have with this palette are, there's only one matte shade, and that matte shade is a black, and the black is not that pigmented. I personally don't mind if a black is not too pigmented because that way it's very easy to build up but there are no transitions in this palette so I actually ended up going in with the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette and I used the shade Fresh Picked and I put that in my crease after that I put the color Heavy Metal all over my lid and I honestly really like this color but I think it could be a little bit more pigmented. I feel like the shimmer doesn't shine through as much as it could. It definitely has the potential to be very metallic. I feel like that can easily be fixed by using Fix Plus, but I didn't want to use Fix Plus. I just wanted to see how the palette worked on its own. After I did that, I used the colors Glam Rock and The Wicked. I mixed those two and I put that on the outer corner of my eye. And to deepen up the look a little, I used the shade Black Metal and I blended it into my crease a little bit. And after that, I just went back into the shade Fresh Picked from the Too Faced palette just to blend everything out. And then I applied some of the Wet n Wild um, Mega Liner, I think that's what it's called, in that blue shade. Uh, voltage blue and I use that to make my wing then I used some navy eyeliner from NYX in my waterline and I used the color wild thing on my lower lash line now there's also no matte cream color or a highlighting shade I actually attempted to use the shade rebel because I have used gold in my inner corner and no this color was way too dark for the inner corner so then I try to put rock on on top. I mean, honestly, now that I look at it, it is a little dark, so that actually made it worse. And then I tried Pop Rock, which does look like a, you know, a highlighting color, but no, it is very dark and it looked awful. I had to take some concealer and then get rid of that inner corner. So I actually ended up using the highlighter from the Pure Cosmetics. I actually ended up using that middle highlighter shade as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. You know what I just realized? I was only wearing inner corner highlight on one of my eyes. <laughs> I'm sure nobody noticed, and if they did, you know what, it's not a big deal. But yeah, I use that shade for my inner corner and my brow bone. I do have to say I like the look, but I just wish the blue was a little bit more blue. I do like the palette. It's really good quality. Like I said, I just don't like how there's no like other mattes and there's no highlighting shades. 
Alright, so the last thing in this boxy charm is the Girlactic Matte Lip Paint. This is in the shade Demure, and this costs $23. I have heard so many good things from these liquid lipsticks. I just haven't bought any because I have so many regular lipsticks and so many liquid lipsticks already that I don't think I should be purchasing any more lipsticks for right now. But I know that Kathleen Lights raves about these. I've heard some other people rave about these. And this is a beautiful lipstick. It's about 10 p.m. and I put this on at 3, 3 o'clock. So I've been wearing this for about seven hours and I already ate twice and you you can't really tell I mean it's going really strong I this is an amazing liquid lipstick I think this box is amazing I liked every single thing in this boxy charm I like I said I do have like some issues with the eyeshadow palette but I don't think the eyeshadow palette is bad I was actually gonna cancel my subscription after three months but I've decided to keep my subscription. I think these boxes are so <laughs> worth it. They're amazing. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!